Ladies and gentlemen, it's now my pleasure to announce the captain of the Indian Masters team and the ambassador of the International Masters League. With over 34,000 runs in international cricket, a staggering 100 international centuries, and an illustrious career spanning over two decades. His legacy transcends the game of cricket itself. It gives me great honor to invite Bharat Ratna Sachin Tendulkar. Sachin, thank you for your contribution to the sport and representing the spirit of cricket with grace and passion. Now, if I could please request you to share a few words about the league and what it means to you. Good afternoon, everyone. This is indeed a special moment. At the la launch of IML, uh, to have all my colleagues against whom I've played for a number of years, there's so many incredible memories that we've had together on the field, some off the field as well. It's nice to see all of you here and the rest of the guys. Uh, the most important thing that we've all gathered here for is our love for the game, our passion and love for cricket. And for us, all of us, we started playing cricket because we wanted to have fun. That childlike energy was extremely important. And at that age, we played for fun. There were no expectations, no aspirations of playing for the country. But as the time went by, you know, those expectations, aspirations grew. And then we started chasing our dreams. And while all that was happening, the journey left us with incredible memories. Some dressing room banters, some on-field rivalries, and it's so nice that we continue to be friends off the field. Though we didn't want to give an inch to each other, uh, so many guys sitting here, uh, we wanted to see their back in the dressing room. And there were guys who, who gave us hard time when we were out there in the middle trying to score runs, unrattling us. And all those kind of uh, memories created uh, a special journey for, for all of us. And, and, and I generally felt this journey would not have been exciting enough had the well-wishers, all the fans, people not been there. For all those special moments to, to amplify the success that you've had on the field, the lessons that you've learnt on the field. You need people to share all those memories with. And without all those people, it would never have been the same. IML is a platform where I believe uh, it has the power to bring the top class cricketers of the world who have played for a number of years together and produce something special. I remember meeting a lot of friends who've come up to me and said that we have watched you play. Some of them also went to the extent of saying that I grew up watching you play. Uh, and, and now they are parents. And the thing that they share with us is, I wish my children had watched you live. So here is an opportunity for not just the, the fans who were from our era, our generation, but for their children also, to connect with us. And like I said, sport has the power to bring us all together, keep us tighter, and enjoy, above all, what sport produces for us. So, on this occasion, I'd like to say... The reveal of the captains who will be leading their teams in this incredible league. The West Indies Masters will be led by the iconic Prince of Trinidad, one of the most respected and revered cricketers of all time, Test Cricket's only quadruple centurion, Brian Lara. 
Now, leading England Masters is an extraordinary cricketer who revolutionized England's approach to limited overs cricket and led the team to its first ever ICC Cricket World Cup victory in 2019, Owen Morgan. South Africa Masters will be captained by Mr. Jack Carlis, one of the greatest all-rounders of all time and a pillar of strength for South Africa for nearly two decades. Well, Jacques couldn't join us today and standing in for him is a member of the South African team, a remarkable cricketer and a role model who took the art of fielding to an unprecedented height, John T. Rhodes. Now, Australia will be captained by a versatile cricketer who excelled in every format of the game and played a key role in Australia's cricketing dominance during his career, Shane Watson. Next up, Kumar Sangakara, batter and wicketkeeper extraordinaire, will lead Sri Lanka Masters. Well, standing in for him today is a member of the Sri Lankan side who captured the imagination of cricket lovers in the 90s with his brilliance in front and behind the wickets, Ramesh Balavitarana. So if we can have the CEO of Sport5, Mr. Stephen Felsing, to deliver the word of thanks. Hello, good afternoon. Um, there's not much I can add. Just look at this. So who am I to give you any more wisdom? The only thing I can do is share my excitement. Uh, my excitement about celebrating the sport of cricket with these icons of cricket. But at the same time, to celebrate the icons themselves with generations and future generations, not only in these very countries, but also around the world. Let's use the momentum cricket has with the Cricket World Cup in America and cricket being an Olympic sports in future, together to enjoy the game, to grow the game, to bring generations and fans around the world together. Let's do this together. I do look forward to it. Thank you very much for coming, everybody, and have a great afternoon. Thank you. I'm going to request Mr. D'Souza and Mr. Felsing to come on stage and present mementos to our captains. Mr. D'Souza, you're going to present the memento to Brian Lara, Ramesh Kalu Vitarana and John T. Rhodes. We'll have a final photo up right after as well with everyone together. John T. Rhodes and Ramesh Kalu Vitarana. And now if I can have Mr. Felsing present the mementos to Sachin Tendulkar. Shane Watson, and Owen Morgan.